This is Brandon Boudreau. He was married to Lori Bellow's niece for about 11 years, and they have four children. Until she started hanging around with her auntie Lori and then divorced him, moved to Idaho, abandoned the children, and then showed up a couple times on property where he has custody of his kids. And he had to call law enforcement. And of course, Alex Cox, Lori's brother, was with her. According to Brandon Boudreaux, this was a post on December 21st, 2019. On October 2nd, on my way home from the gym, someone sat outside my home and shot a gun at me. They hit my vehicle and missed my head by inches. I have reason to believe that this was related to all of the following events. I will only share things in this post that are public information. Please don't ask for more. Please also understand, I know firsthand how scary these people can be. And by sharing, I realize it can make us a target. As someone who has spent the last two months in hiding to protect my kids, I don't take this lightly. But I want to be a person who stands and fights for truth and justice. I have thought a lot about it, and I have to share this. I can no longer sit by when by sharing, I might help someone who knows something. Okay, this story is about my wife's cousin, Joshua Jackson, J.J. Vallow, born in Lake Charles, Louisiana. My wife's aunt and uncle Charles Vallow and his wife, Lori, adopted him in 2013. He's a beautiful, intelligent seven-year-old with the biggest heart, most beautiful smile, and has life challenges of a level two boy on the autism spectrum. Early intervention allowed him to flourish beyond all expectations. Lori was a wonderful, loving, attentive mother. Things started changing over the past 18 months when Lori began spending all her time with a new religious group that we refer to as a cult. She eventually deserted Charles and JJ for two and a half months early this year. Charles did his best to save the marriage of which she had no interest. My wife at this time, Melanie, began spending a lot of time with this group. At the end of June, she demanded a divorce, claiming revelation about things that were not real. and There was no evidence given, just the claim of being told by the Savior. On July 11, 2019, in Chandler, Arizona, Charles went to Lori's home, which he paid for, to get J.J. and take him to school. She and her brother Alex were there. Alex shot Charles twice in the chest, killing him, claiming self-defense. Four people were there that day, Lori, Alex, and these two children that are missing. Alex mysteriously passed away on December 12th, and these two children haven't been seen since September 23rd. Worse still, Lori already remarried, and the wife of her new husband, Chad Daybell, mysteriously died on October 19th in Rexburg, Idaho. I'm posting this in articles related to the case, begging anyone who believes in justice to please share my post. Help us shed light on this. Someone out there knows something, but doesn't know how but doesn't know how all the pieces fit together. Help me connect them with the police so we can bring justice to Charles and the other victims. Please join us in prayer and fasting that we find JJ and Ty Lee alive. Please like and share this to help bring the truth to authorities. Please feel free to DM me with questions about the provided links. Anyone with information, please call Rexburg, Idaho Police Department 
at 1-208-359-3000 of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST. Merry Christmas to all and God bless. So the plot thickens even more. <laughs>